Denver Pyle, a remarkable figure in the entertainment industry, made a lasting impact with his work. His standout performances in movies and TV set him apart during a time filled with talented individuals. When thinking about his work, you might wonder which one you personally connect with the most. Many people hold a special bond with one of his roles that stays in their hearts. Now, we'd love to hear about your favorite memory or personal experience with this iconic actor. Your stories mean a lot to us, so please share them in the comments below. Stay tuned for interesting and surprising facts about Denver Pyle. There's more to uncover, so keep watching. Denver Pyle, a distinguished actor, left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry with his outstanding performances in both movies and TV. If you're not familiar with his work, here's a quick guide to some of his most notable projects and must-watch films. On TV, he gained widespread recognition for playing Uncle Jesse Duke in the beloved series The Dukes of Hazard. His warm and fatherly presence on the show made it a classic that resonated with audiences for generations. On the big screen, Pyle showcased his versatility in various genres. A must-watch is Bonnie and Clyde, where he portrayed Frank Hamer, a Texas Ranger. This gripping crime drama, directed by Arthur Penn, is a cinematic masterpiece that captures the essence of the infamous criminal duo. In the Western genre, his standout performance in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance alongside legendary actors like John Wayne and James Stewart is noteworthy. The film, directed by John Ford, explores themes of justice and sacrifice in the Old West. For those new to Pyle's work, Return to Maybury is a delightful TV movie that reunites the cast of The Andy Griffith Show. He reprised his role as Briscoe Darling, showcasing his comedic timing and adding a nostalgic touch to the beloved characters. Another gem in his filmography is Shenandoah, a powerful anti-war drama where he shared the screen with James Stewart. The film, directed by Andrew V. McClaglin, is a poignant exploration of the impact of the Civil War on a Virginia family. To delve into his earlier work, The Left-Handed Gun, a western where he portrayed a character named Moultrie, is worth exploring. The film, directed by Arthur Penn, provides a glimpse into his early contributions to the silver screen. In conclusion, Pyle's body of work is a collection of memorable performances spanning various genres. Whether through his TV roles or compelling movie characters, he left a lasting mark on the entertainment landscape. For those new to his work, these must-watch films serve as an excellent introduction to the talent and versatility of this acclaimed actor. Denver Pyle's lasting presence in The Dukes of Hazard cemented his status as a TV icon. Portraying Uncle Jesse Duke, he shared the screen with Soro Book, making them the only actors to feature in all 146 episodes. Their consistent performances contributed to the show's lasting popularity with audiences. In a memorable moment, Denver Pyle took on a crucial role in the original Perry Mason series, playing the final murder victim in the episode titled The Case of the Final Fadeout. This episode marked the close of the series, emphasizing Pyle's versatility in different genres. Adding another layer to his diverse repertoire, he assumed the character of Buck Webb in The Doris Day Show, portraying Doris Day's father despite being only two years her senior. This casting choice showcased his ability to embody roles beyond age constraints, highlighting his adaptability as an actor. Denver Pyle's career path, marked by his unwavering commitment to each role, resonates with fans. His long-standing presence in The Dukes of Hazard, significant role in concluding Perry Mason, and the dynamic with Doris Day in The Doris Day Show showcased the depth and range of his acting abilities. Denver Pyle, a well-known figure in Hollywood, was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7083 Hollywood Boulevard in California just two weeks before his passing. Despite facing cancer, he bravely attended the ceremony, demonstrating his strong dedication to his work. In The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, Pyle played the character Amos Carruthers, despite being nine years younger than Ozzy, Whitehead, who portrayed his on-screen father. This highlights Pyle's skill in convincingly taking on diverse roles, regardless of age differences. Another notable collaboration featured Pyle as Frank Hamer in Bonnie and Clyde. Interestingly, this wasn't their first time working together. Pyle and Dub Taylor had previously shared the screen in an episode of The Andy Griffith Show called Mountain Wedding. Pyle took on the role of the Darling's father, while Taylor made a brief but memorable appearance as a preacher, adding another dimension to their professional partnership. 
Denver Pyle's induction into the Hollywood Walk of Fame, his portrayal of Amos Carruthers, and his collaborations with Dub Taylor in various projects showcase his lasting influence on the entertainment industry. His ability to play roles regardless of age and form meaningful connections with fellow actors speaks to his timeless talent. Denver Pyle's journey in acting mirrors a dynamic evolution in response to the changing trends of the film industry. Throughout his career, he adapted his craft to reflect shifts in cinematic styles. In the early phase of his career, his roles in classics like The Left-Handed Gun hinted at his early involvement in the silver screen. His portrayal of Moultrie in this Western flick showcased a glimpse of his talent that later became a hallmark of his acting. As the industry changed, he seamlessly adapted to diverse roles, showing his versatility. His role as Uncle Jesse Duke in The Dukes of Hazard made him a TV icon, and his chemistry with Sorrel Book contributed to the lasting popularity of the series. Notably, his appearance in the final episode of the original Perry Mason series demonstrated his ability to navigate different genres with finesse. His portrayal of the murder victim showcased depth and versatility beyond a specific character type. In The Doris Day Show, he broke age constraints, playing Doris Day's father despite a minimal age gap. This unconventional casting choice underscored his adaptability, emphasizing that his skills went beyond conventional expectations. Even amid personal challenges, his dedication to his craft remained unwavering. His Hollywood Walk of Fame induction, just weeks before his passing, stands as proof of his lasting influence on the entertainment industry. His portrayal of Amos Carruthers in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance exemplifies his ability to convincingly embody characters irrespective of age differences. In collaboration with Dub Taylor, his connections and chemistry shone through, creating memorable moments in projects like Mountain Wedding and Bonnie and Clyde. These collaborations highlighted his ability to form meaningful connections with fellow actors, enriching his performances. Denver Pyle's journey through the years showcases not just a career, but a dynamic response to the ever-changing film industry. His adaptability, displayed in diverse roles and collaborations, cements his place as a timeless talent in Hollywood history. Denver Pyle's journey in the entertainment industry took unexpected turns, creating unique connections with fellow actors. Notably, his collaboration with James Best began in the 1958 movie The Left-Handed Gun. Little did they know that 21 years later, they would share the screen again in The Dukes of Hazard, where he played the sheriff opposite Best. This reunion showcased the lasting camaraderie forged in their earlier cinematic encounter. In the movie Cahill U.S. Marshall, Pyle's character bears his real name, Denver. This straightforward approach to naming the character adds a personal touch, emphasizing his authenticity as an actor. Such nuances in character portrayal contributed to the realism that defined his performances. Transitioning to the small screen, his portrayal of Uncle Jesse in The Dukes of Hazard had a profound impact on the set. According to James Best, he served as a surrogate grandfather to Catherine Bach, who played Daisy Duke. This connection extended beyond the scripted roles, reflecting the genuine influence he had on his co-stars. In a career marked by diverse roles, these personal dynamics showcased the human side of Denver Pyle, leaving a lasting impression on those he worked with. His ability to seamlessly embody characters, whether on TV or in movies, revealed a depth that connected with audiences. His straightforward and genuine approach to acting, coupled with impactful collaborations, solidified his place as a timeless talent in Hollywood history.